All right, Ian. Coming out of Japan. Not Wrestle Kingdom news. My bunny, my buddy uh, Kenny Omega, unfortunately lost uh, the title. Uh, we'll see what happens with Kenny. Uh, Japan looks like maybe making or game save editors and console modding illegal, according to a couple articles. Um, so, on the surface, you would say this seems insane. It's obviously though it, they're trying to hit at piracy and people promoting piracy. Um, well, and I believe. Uh, uh, think it also is trying to like deter online cheating um it says you know uh such something like monster hunter let's go through it so what they're saying according to the kotaku which is off of the japanese uh association of copyright for computer software site uh illegal to mod save game data and game consoles punishable up to five years in prison and fines up to five million yen which is forty six thousand dollars uh, according to Japan's Association of Copyright for Computer Software, modding game save data and game consoles violates the country's unfair competition prevention law. Japanese government is expanding regulations to protect game console content. Okay, so I guess what people are disturbed about is this, this goes from being a civil penalty to being, uh, well... You go to jail, right? <laughs> that that's what sort of like people are like. Whoa, really? So there's three there's three things that they're really looking for: um, distribution of game save data, data editors and programs, um, distribution selling auctioning serial codes, product keys without the software maker's permission. Okay, that that I actually that that seems like that's weird. It's like it's like one of those things you slide in when you're trying to pass a bill. Like that's that's a great thing, but it doesn't it doesn't. To me, it's not related to one in three. Sure. Uh, three but... is services that offer the editing, hacking of save data, and or modifying hacking of game consoles. So it looks like, you know, I, like it says, fair, uh, you know, fair competition practices or whatever. It looks like it's to, um, yeah, probably dissuade piracy and also dissuade hacking and cheating online. Yeah, because already you're, you're breaking the terms of service when you're, when you're hacking your console. Uh, in order to load up ROMs or whatever, or in order to cheat in a game, you're breaking terms of service by having, you know, the, all the hack cheats and things like that. Going back to my UT days, of course, I saw people cheat, fucking assholes. Anyway, um, there was controversies. Aim bots. Aim. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could see them easily. Um. So anyway, so I see all that. I just people are probably thinking they're overstepping their bounds by saying like, oh, up to up to five years in prison. Well, yeah, I, I, I think that's ridiculous. I mean, I so the sec, the second well, it goes from point, civil to criminal. I couldn't think of the word criminal for it. Now it's a criminal so charge. The distribution, selling, and auctioning of serial codes. I'm totally okay with that. It fucks over a lot of developers, especially indie developers. We see that stuff on indie? like uh, what is it like G2G or whatever the fucking yeah that stuff. So that's that's a great thing, but. I on one hand, yeah, I want online play to be fair, but I don't know that I want to be a criminal for modifying a system, depending on the mod. Like, well, how broad is that cover? Well, to me, they're not gonna like, you know, break into your house. Oh my god, he's modding. His own it's probably for people make make sure they're not selling them. Sure. The same way that Nintendo's suing people civilly. Nintendo's not throwing. There was Nintendo's not throwing people into prison. Right. So it sounds like there, there must have been lobbying for this from Nintendo and other companies, say, or in Sony maybe. They'd be like, okay, this is hurting us. You know, it's hurting the bottom line. Maybe do that. You don't know what goes on behind the scenes, in these in the parliaments of the in you know in congresses of these other nations. I'm not a Japanese on Japanese government. What's going on? But that, you could make a case for that. Stuff has to be brought to the lawmakers' attention. Most likely, otherwise they don't know. They're they're just sure people. Uh, they're yeah, the common man. So as much as I'm not a fan of, you know, a majority of this, I, honestly, the amount that they're going to enforce this, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Sure, but, but I feel like it might be something that. I don't know. It's a big deterrent. It's it's, it's like, a deterrent. It's a deterrent, like on the VCR when you whenever you rented a, a VHS tape, you had the FBI warning. Yeah. I'm not sure how many people got a, a thrown into prison for copying their their uh, rented naked gun tape. Like, no, they were looking yeah. for distribution, not in home personal use. They weren't really tracking that. Right. So that to me is what this is. It's sort of the same thing. You know, I I, be, uh, I love to look I love to look up who actually got hit with that FBI warning. Actually got thrown into prison. There are probably people that were selling tapes. Yeah. 
It's not someone who recorded it once. No. Then their uncle came we, over and was like, oh, shit, we Johnny, had, we're taking you in. We had the great combination, because one ended with baseball and went to baseball. Great uh, two for double header of Naked Gun followed by Major League. Oh. That's a good two for. That is. That's a good. Major, first Major League was excellent. On extended way. play or SP or whatever, you know, where you're really no, stretching well, the grain out. Six, on. six hours. Yeah. The, the <laughs> LP. Not, LP, even, that's not, even, it, not yeah. even standard long play. Yeah. LP. There was there was SP two hours. SLP? Was that was that four, four hours? Yeah. And then, yeah. Which means for all the youngsters out there that are under 30, the VHS tapes when you record it, it was the, how it was how slow the reel would go when you record it. So the slower the reel would go, you, you get more tape and the quality was shit. Yeah, it was standard awful. VHS tape was only two hours for the higher highest quality. No one bad. ever did that. No one ever did that. Nah, you everyone know, was doing at least SLP. When you when you were fourteen, had your uh, USA Up All Night spank tape. You want to get as much boobs as you could. <laughs> oh That's what I've heard at least. Not saying Young Pat did that. Woo! <laughs> How do we go there? But anyway, so th- there was a company that already stopped making uh, selling. Excuse me, Cyber Gadget stopped selling its save editor data to align players to use cheats and patch codes. Again, I think they're probably they're probably overreacting. I don't. Eh, but they're probably but no, I mean, that's sure exactly what they're going for. I mean, they don't want you being able to sell that stuff. So things like pro action replays, gone. But a save editor, you're not really affecting other people necessarily. If you're playing like Pokemon, you want, you know, more monsters in your right, game. Well, that's what they're going for. That's what they're going right, after. Sorry. So like I said, it, it to me, it, it, it oversteps certain boundaries. Sure. Yes. Okay. 